Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and we're gonna go into workhorse in this video, but before I do, I wanted to get you guys' input on something. I was thinking about doing live streams from 9.30 in the morning to about 11, and cover all the stocks that everybody has their eyes on. So I've been in my comments, there's a lot of people who want me to check out certain stocks that I don't have the time to do, but if I do run a live stream, it is going to be on Twitch. Let me know if you guys are interested in that because if that is something you guys are down for, I will be doing those live streams where I will be charting whatever stocks you want me to look at in real time. We're gonna go over the stocks that we always look at, our penny stock watch list, as well as all the stocks that are on my radar, and just kind of go over any major news that is happening in real time so you guys can experience what I'm experiencing and hopefully learn something at the same time. And so if you guys are interested in watching those live streams, just let me know in the comments so I have a gauge of who would be interested because that is something that is going to happen very soon here and I will leave the link to my Twitch in the description while I get this whole thing sorted out. And so enough of all of that, we came here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to look at workhorse stock. Before we get to the charts, I wanted to go back to highshortinterest.com to see where workhorse is now in terms of short interest. You can see we have bumped down a position. We were first, now we are second, but I want you guys to remember certain aspects of certain plays we still have a very high short interest very similar still to clover health our float is very similar to clover health as I'm taking a quick glance at these top shorted stocks immediately OTRK is catching my eye because of how low the flow is so if the short interest is extremely high and the flow is really low it doesn't take too much power to squeeze a stock like that so OTRK, I might have to make a video on this very soon to kind of look at the charts, see where we are in the progress with this stock, because this looks quite intriguing, but that is going to be for another video. For Workhorse, we still have an extraordinarily high short interest, so people here are still shorting this stock. Hedge funds are still trying to cover their position, and you can see from the last time we've looked at our short interest, it has gone down a little bit, which means some shorts have covered their position. So right now, now we're looking at workhorse chart on the daily time frame today we were down 4.1 percent but the beautiful thing about today's price action is we closed right on our 50-day SMA one thing that I wanted to show you guys really quickly that I noticed intraday was our volume near the end of our session you can see the volume pickup right here was absolutely insane and so when I look at the history of the price action today we had one back test of the 50 we held we had a second back test of our 50 we held and then we were on our 50 this whole time we held and then we came back again and we saw this strong surge and so what I kind of extrapolate from this information is that big hedge funds were watching the price action today and they noticed that every time we got down to the 50 the bulls held support so when they got the opportunity right here when we dipped right below it they decided to cover their position because they believed that this stock can't go lower the bulls are holding this 50 sma and so this was a great sign of power here for bulls in workhorse and i saw this at the end of the market session i was tracking the stock and i seen a surge in share price and so what that surge let me know is that some hedge funds believed that they can't pull this price down as much as they thought they could and so they covered at the end of the day because of the rejections that were on this 50 SMA throughout the entire trading session. And so today's price action was actually very strong here for Workhorse. Ultimately, we need to hold this 50 SMA as long as we are hovering either on it or even slightly below it, that is still a great sign for Workhorse. Once we start to break down completely on our 50 SMA is when there's going to be more fear for the bulls, there's gonna be a lot more work for the bulls because the hedge funds are going to have control and so if you are in workhorse right now there should be no concern right now we've actually had four days that we have held our 50 SMA which is absolutely beautiful we were still relatively on low volume today which is great to see our RSI has cooled down to a 41 and so it's looking like we are holding very nice here for our short squeeze play in workhorse I continue to say as long as we are above this 50 
bulls have full control. And because our RSI has cooled down, that lets me know that we are going to be in for another move very soon here. I can't tell you when, but as long as we hold this 50 SMA, this becomes a consolidation and accumulation zone for people who want to buy up the shares. And while people buy up the shares, hedge funds will have to try to find times and appropriate times to cover their positions. And so today we saw a glimpse of it at the end of the market where shorts were covering, which was beautiful to see. And if we're just looking at our RSI, the last time we were at a 41, you could see we were at prices a lot lower than what we are now. So if we're looking at our charts, we are setting higher lows in terms of our RSI. And so that is a very strong indicator for myself. Overall right now, it does seem like we have very strong power in workhorse. I'm very excited to see how this one plays out. I am still holding extremely long and strong here with workhorse. I have a minimal price target of the short squeeze getting us up to about $31. There is a gap to fill. This was a monstrous drop that we seen on Workhorse. I also want to remind you guys, I'm not in Workhorse for the fundamentals of this company or because I believe in the long-term outlook for Workhorse. This company has potential to do well in the future, but my personal play was based on the short interest, based on the potential of a short squeeze, and that is why I am in on this stock. So I wanted to clarify my position here in Workhorse. I am a bull until I am not. What I mean by that is I have a price prediction on our short squeeze to bring us back to about $31. And from that point, I will reevaluate my position and see if we are making any progress on the fundamental basis. If we are not, then that would probably be my time to exit workhorse and find the next play. Like you guys just saw me doing the research, there's another stock that is on my eyes right now. I have never looked at it. I just want to look briefly at this stock as well. OT. RK. I have actually never heard of this stock and oh me oh my we have a large gap to fill here to the upside at around $58. I like to see that we've had our death cross. This looks quite similar here to workhorse. However, we are trading below our 50 SMA. So for a quick glance, the price action right now needs to be above this point. If I want to get in on this stock right now, I don't want to just off of the quick glance. Again, you guys know how I feel about my SMAs. When we're on a short squeeze hunt, we want to be able to hold this 50 SMA. But overall, you can see this has been straddling this line. So I'm actually going to keep a lookout on this stock and I might have to open a position once we get back above our 50 SMA. And so that was just a quick glance here on OTRK. It was just on my eyes real quick when I looked at the short interest. Well, there you guys have it. That was my quick little update here on Workhorse Stock. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. We are on the road to 10K subs. So if you made it to this point, feel free to hit that subscription button. And also let me know if you guys would be willing to watch my live streams from the market open till about 11 a.m. on Twitch and I'll leave all the information in the description. This is Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy and I'll see you guys in the next one.